Super K pop. Today, the atmosphere around Korea is a little like this. Ha ha ho ho hee hee. Well, the entire family gathers and we do a memorial for our ancestors and eat delicious food together. And it's the time to say everything we didn't have time for before. And that's all what we'll be doing today on Super K pop as well. Ha ha ho ho hee hee. This is Super K pop and I'm your DJ, One Kind. Alright, the first song for this lovely day is by B.I.G. Hello, 안녕하세요, and a happy Thursday and also happy Lunar's uh, New Year's Day to everyone that is tuning in. Well, as you know, today is Korea's Hollal or Lunar New Year's Day, and uh, Seol means that we calculate the first day of the year uh, based on the lunar calendar. Now, uh, in Korea, we celebrate Seol by setting up a uh, memorial service for our ancestors and uh, the entire family gathers, and we eat very, very delicious food. And uh, we'll be talking about Korea's horror in more details today and tomorrow. So for two days, we'll go through all the traditions of this huge holiday. All right, well, as you know, horror is very important to us Koreans. Uh, therefore, we'll be having a Lunar New Year special for the next two days. And for part two, we'll have the awesome Halo for the Lunar New Year's party. So uh, send in your messages for them. And for tomorrow, we'll be here with the awesome One Punch. It's going to be a very, very great interview. All right, now let me tell you how you can tune in to Super K-Pop. Uh, first, log on to www.adidangradio.com and click on the on-air button. Uh, second, you can download the Adidang Radio application on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. And third, if you're in the Jeju-do Island, turn your radio dials at 88.7 in the Jeju area, 88.1 in the Sogripo area, and 101.9 in the Daejeon area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. And uh, no matter how you're tuning in, please log on to www.adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answer to our quizzes, and your questions for me and my guests on the Super K-Pop message board. Hong Kong DBC's digital channel, Monday through Friday at 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And also, if you're in Busan, you can join with us. Tune your radio on Busan EFM 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can listen to ID Down Radio through TuneIn, an online radio service site with 40 million users worldwide. And you can download TuneIn to Google Play or the App Store. And uh, just a little bit, we're going to be talking about lots of things about SARS. So uh, if you're curious about us uh, hard please do send in your messages but uh before that we're going to listen to two more songs so here it is gary and jungin your scent saram nemse and jungi go featuring benzino want you not or want it super k-pop quiz <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the Super K-Pop quiz? And uh, it would be a shame if we skipped the quiz for Lunar New Year's. Well, uh, the quiz is about a new girl group uh, that debuted last year. And the four members are Wendy, Aiden, Sergi, and Joy. Well, uh, you know them as Red Velvet. And uh, their debut song is about, you know, what young girls go through. And uh, I guess their emotions. So uh, the question for today is... What is Red Velvet's debut song? Is it A, dun da da dun dun happiness, B, smile, or C, delight? Well, uh, we're going to accept your answers written on our message board, so please log on to Adidang website, www.adidangradio.com, and leave us your answers. And uh, we're going to announce the winners on our message board, so be sure to check it out. And today's lucky winner will receive two signed CDs. Uh, one from One Punch and Halo. All right, so uh, good luck, and hopefully uh, you're that winner today. And uh, let's check out the next song. It's by Red Velvet, Happiness, Hangbook. All right, that was by Red Velvet, Happiness, Hangbook. And I hope everyone is having a day full of happiness. And uh, for part two, we'll be joining with the awesome Halo for our Lunar New Year's party part two. And uh, we'll be checking out their live songs and uh, we'll be talking about Sar. So uh, leave your messages for them. And for tomorrow, we'll also have a Sar special and uh, we'll have the new group One Punch joining us. So uh, send in your messages because uh, it's going to be fresh and it's going to be a great interview. All right, now it's time to uh, talk about Seoul Lunar New Year's. Are you guys ready? 
Well, uh, the first thing is, what are you curious about when you're going on a vacation or on special occasions? Well, basically, we think of good foods to eat. But uh, I said this before, but uh, Sahar is the first day of the year on the lunar calendar. And uh, we gather with our family and we eat very delicious food. And we also play lots of games. And it's truly a fun holiday. Well, uh, I'll be talking about both of these. So first off, I think it's important to learn about the tradition uh, behind Sahar. Well, as you know, uh, Sahar Lai, or Lunar New Year's, uh, is Korea's biggest holiday. And uh, basically what we do is, in the morning, we wake up and uh, we pay our respects to our ancestors by setting up a memorial ceremony. And then we greet our neighbors and relatives to wish them a very happy new year. And uh, we also find our family elders and do Sebe. Now, basically, Sebe is the New Year's bow. And uh, I'll be explaining that to you right now. And uh, it's basically the first greeting of the new year to our older uh, family members, uh, paying them respect and wishing them a very great new year. Well, uh, Korea's uh, traditional greeting is called char. And uh, we do it to our elders. And uh, we wake up early, have the memorial ceremony for our ancestors. And then we do char, basically bowing uh, to our grandparents and parents. And then we move to our older siblings and uh, people younger, uh, char to relatives older than they are. And then we eat the food that's laid out during the memorial ceremony for breakfast. And then after that, we go greet our neighbors and distant relatives. Well, uh, as we greet them, we do the traditional sebe, meaning uh, I wish you good health for you this year. And I wish you luck and I wish you long, long life. And uh, other new, gre new year greetings are basically... Uh, I hope uh, you achieve all your goals and uh, whatever you do, I hope everything goes well. Well, uh, the fun part uh, after you do Sebe, basically uh, the elders hand out Sebe Don, which is the New Year's allowance for the kids. And I think this is by far the best part of, uh, you know, the holidays. And uh, I remember when I was young, I would Sebe to uh, my elders, to my relatives, and after that, they would give me lots of lunar, I guess, New Year's allowance, you would say. And uh, I think that was like the best part of the Lunar New Year's. Well, uh, next, I'm going to be talking about the in interesting part of the Lunar New Year's, and that is Harbim, uh, which is the New Year's dress. Now, uh, Harbim is a piece of new clothing uh, that you wear to celebrate the start of the new year. And another name for it is Hejang. And uh, the point is to start the new year fresh, even with clothing. Now, uh, Sahar is also a happy holiday, and so we change into new clothes to uh, celebrate the fresh new start of the year. And uh, Sahar Beam is a tradition we still hold today, and another is wearing hanbok. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys, you know, heard of the word hanbok, and it's basically the Korean traditional dress and going to Sebe in those clothes. Well, uh, in the past, we used to buy new hanbok as our sarbim, but these days, people just buy everyday clothing for it. Well, uh, basically, I explained the basic traditions of sar, and uh, right after this song, we'll be back to talk about the delicious foods of this holiday. So let's check it out. Here it is, BTS, Pangtang Sonyeondan, Boy in Love, Sang Namja. You're tuning into the best radio station. You can hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 p.m. Every day with your DJ, one kind. Right here on Super K Pop. All right, welcome to Super K Pop, and I'm your DJ, one kind. Well, uh, if you guys are tuning in right now, we do have a Super K Pop quiz, and uh, it's about a girl group uh, that debuted uh, last year. The four members are Wendy, Aiden, Sergi, and uh, Joy. Well, uh, you know them as Red Velvet. And uh, their debut song is about young girls' emotions. So, the quiz question for today is, what is Red Velvet's debut song? Is it A, dun 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 dun, dun happiness, B, smile, or C, delight? And uh, you guys know what to do. Uh, log on to www.idangradio.com and leave us your answers. And uh, we're going to announce the winners on our message board, so be sure to check it out. And today's lucky winner will receive two signed CDs, one from One Punch and one from Halo. All right, good luck. And uh, like I said, for part two, we'll be joining with Halo and continue part two of our Lunar New Year's party. 
So、uh, send in your messages for them because it's going to be an awesome interview. All right, now、uh, let's talk about the delicious foods of s a r Well,、uh, the number one food you must eat on this holiday is t o k u k Uh, which is rice cake soup. And by far, I think this is probably one of my favorite soups. Well,、uh, in Korea, there's a saying once you eat a bowl of t o k u k you gain one more year. Well, this saying was started because t o k u k is usually、uh, the first food we eat on Lunar New Year's Day. And t o k u k is a Korean dish、uh, where we make t o k and we pound it on to make bar rice cake, which is k a r e t o k And、uh, we use this、uh, in our dish. Well, let me give you the brief、uh, recipe on how to make t o k u Are you guys ready? Well,、uh, number one is、uh, you take cow bone and boil it into the water to get a nice soup. And the second thing you do is、uh, you cut up the white rice cake into nice round shapes and wash it with water. And number three,、uh, you put just the right amount of salt into the soup、uh, made in number one. And then you add chopped green onions and garlic into the soup. Then you boil it today with the cut up rice cake. And number four,、uh, you season the beef and fry it. And number five,、uh, when the rice cakes in the soup get really soft and flow to the surface, you crack an egg into the soup and turn the stove off. And last,、uh, you put the toku into a bowl and put the seasoned beef from number four on top. And then you add some pepper. And voila, you have your delicious toku, which is rice cake soup. And、uh, if you taste it,、uh, you'll get the taste of the juicy meat and the chewy rice cakes all in one dish. But、uh, it's not clear when and why we started to eat this dish on Lunar New Year's, but perhaps it's because of the white rice cake. Now, as you know, before we chop the white rice cake, it's very long,、uh, which、uh, represents a long life. So I think that's why we eat it on the first day of the year, and that's what people are guessing. Well,、uh, to continue to talk about other foods,、uh, this time I'll introduce you to a、uh, mung bean pancake, which is p i n d e t t o k And you guys can think of p i n d e t t o k as Korea's pizza. Yes, sounds very delicious, huh? Well,、uh, p i n d e t t o k is made from a bean called nokdu. Now, you make the pancake batter by grinding up the nokdu beans. Then you add some seasoned meat, wash kimchi, and other vegetables into it. Then, what you do is、uh, you spread the batter onto the frying pan into a circular or、uh, round shape. And、uh, when you eat the fried pancake, you dip it into a sauce made from red chili powder, green onions, garlic, and ground sesame mixed with salt. And、uh, if you ever tasted、uh, p i n d e t t o k it's very delicious. And the outside of the pancake is somewhat, I guess, crunchy, but the, you know, the inside part is very, very soft. And the more you chew it, the more you get addicted to it, and the better it tastes. So, we just talked about t o k u k and p i n d e t t o k and by now we're probably full, and、uh, we want to, I guess, we want dessert. Well, in Korea, there's a dessert drink called shike,、uh, which is sweet rice drink. Now, shike is made from a grain powder called y o k i d i m or malt. Now, the powder malt is added with water. And rice that has been brewed in water. Now, if you ever taste a shike, it's very sweet and it's very delicious, and、uh, I would say very, I guess, addictive. Well,、uh, during the holidays or parties, after eating a lot of food, it's great to top it off with a sweet and fresh drink. And、uh, what shike does, it really helps you、uh, digest your food better. Well,、uh, talking about all this food and dessert is making me hungry, and you guys are probably hungry as well. All right, well,、uh, before we move on, it's time to play another song. So here it is True Love featuring Dia, First Love, Chat Sarang. <laughs> All right, my song for you.、Uh, is there someone you want to congratulate? Someone you want to comfort? Well,、uh, dedicate a song to them on our corner for my song for you. And the winning message on my song for you will get the request song on the air, as well as a CD from Tamba m o d i And、uh, today's my song for you comes from Indonesia. It's Santana Lee. Well,、uh, dedicate a song to them on our corner for my song for you. 
And the winning message on my song for you will get the request song on the air, as well as a CD from Tambar Mori. And uh, today's my song for you comes from Indonesia. It's Santana Lee. Hello, Santana. And she says, Well, uh, once my friend said, uh, Everything happens for a reason. There's no such thing as coincidence. And uh, I really believe that. And what makes me in my position right now is the result from my choice in the past, and I'll never regret it. Well, therefore, I want to request a song by Bestie. Thank you very much. Oh, I really like that song. Well, I want to say thank you to whoever uh, came into my life and made my life so colorful, especially to my family and my beautiful friends. Thank you for the support that you guys gave to me. I really appreciate it. I love you all. That's a very sweet message to your friends and family. And uh, for them, I shall play the song. So let's check it out. Bestie, thank you very much. And what a lovely song that was by Bestie. Thank you very much. Well, uh, now it's time to talk about traditional games. And uh, as you know, Korea has lots of fun games during the Lunar New Year's. And each team has, I guess, four tokens. And uh, after each person uh, gets a turn to throw four wooden sticks with wordings on it into the air, according to, you know, whatever you get, uh, you move the tokens... And uh, the first team to get all four tokens back to the starting point wins. And uh, this was a game that uh, I played with all my relatives. It's really a very, very fun game. All right, now I'm going to introduce a game that's a bit more active, and it's called Nartigi, basically the Korean version of seesawing. Well, Nartigi is a game that most women play on big holidays, and the tools to play are very simple, and it doesn't take up too much room. Well, you use a board and a support like a seesaw for nard digging, and you take a thick and strong plank, and uh, what you do, you center it onto the support. Now, after one person steps onto the plank on both sides, the two people then take turns jumping up and down on the plank. Now, for those that can't really picture it, imagine, I guess, a seesaw that you used to play in the playgrounds, and uh, that's basically what the game is. Well, uh, the next game that I want to introduce to you guys is Pengi Nori. And basically, it's uh, Korea's top spinning game. Well, uh, I'm sure that other countries also play the top spinning game. And uh, each country has its own culture. But seeing that we share similar games is uh, really interesting. Well, uh, let me tell you how uh, the top spinning game is played. Uh, first, you take the wood and form it into shape of a cone. Maybe, I guess, the size of your fist. And this is the top. Now, you take the wooden stick that has a string tied to the end, and you hit the top with it. Uh, you can play alone, but usually a group of people play together, so there are different types of ways to play the game. So I'm going to explain some of the different ways uh, you can play Korea's top spinning game. Number one is top fighting. So this is when two people each spin their own top, and then when the signal is given, they smash it into the other top to try to knock it over. And number two is Molly Chigi. It's a game where you start at the same line, and uh, when the signal is given to both of you, uh, you try to hit your top to the farthest distance, and the top that spins the longest wins uh, in this game. And another one, number three, is Ore Toligi. Basically, is when two competitors uh, spin their tops, and the top that lasts the longest wins. And I think there's a, a lot of similar games to this in other countries. And if you think about it, what would it be, you know, if we didn't have games during the holidays? It would be very, very boring. All right, but uh, if you guys have time to try out these games, you should because it's very fun. Now, let's check out the next song. It's called Big Flow, Bad Mama Jama. All right, that was by Big Flow, Bad Mama Jama. And uh, we do have a super K-pop quiz, so let me remind you one more time. And uh, it's a new girl group that debuted last year. And the four members are Wendy, Aireen, Sergi, and Joy. Well, uh, you know them as Red Velvet. And uh, if you listen to their uh, debut song, it's about young girls' emotion. So the quiz is, what is Red Velvet's debut song? Is it A, dun 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 Happiness, B, Smile, or C, Delight. Well, uh, you guys know what to do. Log on to www.adidangradio.com and leave us your answers. And uh, we're going to announce the winners on our message board, so be sure to check it out. And today's lucky winner will receive not one, 
but two side CDs, one from One Punch and one from Halo. All right, now, uh, a couple of days ago, I found this fun article, and uh, yeah, I would love to share it with you guys. So the story is, basically, uh, there was a woman named Suzanne Anderson in the United States. Now, she was blinded uh, after her surgery went wrong, and since then, her husband took good care of her while she went to work. Well, a few days later, uh, the husband told his wife that she should go to work on her own since he can't take care of her forever. And uh, when Suzanne heard this, she was very disappointed, but uh, she had no choice. Well, uh, during her first few days, she felt countlessly, but uh, she got used to it after a while. So after two weeks later, she got on the bus. The bus driver said, you're very lucky to have a great husband. He takes care of you every day. And uh, she found out that her husband was following her all the way to work and watching her all the time. Wow, isn't that very touching? Well, uh, basically, everyone faced hard times while living. And uh, you might think there's nobody there for you, just like Suzanne's husband. But uh, if you really think there is always someone for you, you just don't notice they're there. So uh, if you guys are going through a very hard time or if you're feeling lonely... Don't feel like you're the only one in the world that is going through that and no one's there for you. Because you do have friends and a family that really love you and uh, you have me. So uh, I really want to tell you that more people than you think are cheering on for you. Alright, because uh, I thought this article was great because it's the Lunar New Year's and it's a time where we spend uh you know time with our family and uh family is always there for us all right well i hope you enjoyed that and now it's time to check out the next song and this song is by pang myung su riji of after school goodbye pms and that was by pang myung su and riji of after school goodbye pms and uh, for part two for the lunar new year's party we'll have the awesome halo uh, they're gonna be here singing us very great live songs, and uh, we're gonna be talking about her, the Luna New Year's party. So you guys stay tuned because it's gonna be a very great interview. And the next song will be by UV Itaewon Freedom. <laughs> 